So today I'm in a little town called I'm in a little town called Sudovic. Camped here last night and uh, it rained all night, but the sun's come out, so that's good. I had an adventurous day yesterday, uh, running along the beach in the rocks. Um, sadly, ended up I had to turn around. The, uh, the tide was coming in, so I couldn't get along the beach where I wanted to. So today, so yesterday I ended up getting a little further than I thought. I got all the way up and around here, and I'm right here in a right here in a little town called Sudovic. So today I'm heading I'm heading to this area here. So this is. Uh, it's all day long I'm going in and out and in and out and in and back out along the cliffs along the fjords in and out and then at the end of the day somewhere right around here and I'm gonna um, stay at a friend's house um, that uh, somebody <sighs> somebody generously offered so from there I'll it, the weather is supposed to turn uh, supposed to turn a little bit bad tomorrow so I'll just sit still I'll sit still tomorrow uh, maybe do a little laundry maybe process some videos whatever um, and then the following day it's supposed to be sunshine again so then I'll take off again so that's the that's today's plan and just give you an idea where I stayed um, this is in the campground, just to take away this this illusion that Iceland is really expensive. Um, I was in this campground over there, and it's in a little village, and it has a big barbecue area, which is here. It has toilets and uh, hot showers and cooking facilities, and it was nine dollars. So. Iceland is not so far I've said this before so far it's not as expensive as uh, as everybody makes it out to be fuel is expensive about seven dollars a gallon but uh, yeah so today I head in that direction towards that snow <laughs> houses and he's working on them and uh, it gives you a, a 360 so I just spent uh, about an hour or so in the hot tub which is nice sitting in the hot tub and this is the view don't know if I'm gonna be doing any riding tomorrow though because um, if this wind drops down but uh, I was blown all over the place today. It's crazy how windy it is. I don't know if you can make out that flag right in the middle of the screen. It's it's probably blowing 30 meters a second. So today I'm gonna to head up to the old herring factory. It was a, uh, built and it was only used for one year. And uh, my friend said that if I go up there, there's a guy that runs it. Uh, he's about 75 years old and he's got a Somehow he's got a collection of American cars up there, so that's be kind of interesting. I've been waiting for the weather to turn. I'm staying at a friend's, he's doing some building, but so if you can see past the building site, uh, the weather hasn't changed. It was supposed to get nicer this afternoon, but it didn't. So, uh, anyhow, still go out but it means I get to ride with less luggage. 
So on the map, uh, right now, somewhere around here, and you're gonna take this this road, and somewhere along here, you take this to where it ends. But somewhere along here is the old herring factory. So uh, that's where I'm heading. I'll see what I find. said to me when you come on this this coast heading up to it's, it's the end of the land um, they said look out for lots of wood I said because it's all over the place and they said it came on the currents on the trade currents from Siberia when they were cutting down the trees so all the way up and down this coast there's there's all this this lumber just sitting there because in this area, Iceland doesn't really have many trees. Actually, it doesn't have any trees. Nothing at all. Lots of waterfalls, but no trees. to see Alsi, but Alsi's not around, he owns this building here, but not around, but I'll show you anyway, so it's the old herring factory. There's a little town here, some old buildings and stuff, but not too much happening. I was told to find them the old herring factory but all the doors are closed and it looks like there's nothing inside so I don't know how how long ago my friends have come up here but maybe it's uh, maybe it's a while ago maybe it was a year or two ago they said he was old so hopefully he's still around he's just gone away for the day You had on your map there was a gas station up here. Um, yeah, there is, but I'm gonna guess that doesn't work for a while. Might be one of the more remote and picturesque gas stations in the world. Well, it used to be. <laughs> 